Let's turn to business news now on Friday night. Hi, Nona. Uh, Kiwi Bank's half-year profit fell by a third, taking New Zealand Post's profit with it. That's right. It's a big old fall. What caused it? Well, a couple of things that were signaled before, and one of them is the scrapping of their uh, IT system and replacing it. They had to get rid of it, and I don't know exactly what the problem was, but it was worth $224 million. So it's a one-off cost, though, right? Yeah, yep. and uh, so they had some quake costs as well, so that had an impact. Um, and anyway, so overall, though, uh, the company, which is owned by the people of New Zealand, uh, either directly through New Zealand Post, but also through the Superfund and the ACC. They're all shareholders in it. So uh, their profit was down a third. That's to $44 million compared with $65 million the year before. Yeah, that's a big old It way. is, yeah. yeah. And that had an impact on New Zealand Post because previously New Zealand Post owned uh, Kiwi Bank, and that would have given them uh, that Dividends. profit. It yep. didn't happen this time. So it without... Uh, the um, Kiwi Bank share, they would have made a loss of $13 million. In the end, they made a small profit of six months. And this is for a six-month period ended in December for both the bank and New Zealand Post. If they were one-off costs, Kiwi Bank is but, looking forward more optimistically for next year? Yes, they are. That's right, because they've got a growth in loans and so on. So, yeah, it's still a bank. Banks make money. It's good. <laughs> they tend to, don't <laughs> That's they? a good thing. Bless them. But he New Zealand Post is a little different, you know, because in that case, uh, part of their problem is uh, a fallen letter volume. So that uh, really hurt their revenue. It fell 3%. Now, they had nearly 38 million fewer pieces of letters. Holy moly. And that's a lot. So they're saying that they need to kind of look at what they can do with that business because it's something that we're going to continue to see a decline. I was thinking to myself today, you know, when was the last time anyone sent me a letter? Uh, I don't know. It was a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. Yes. I'll I mean, write you one, Nona. Oh, thank Dear you. Dear Nona. Can you just put it in my box? <laughs> and I'll go, oh, yay, John sent me a letter. All right, that's it. So I really have much... Le little less to, little, uh, little oh, else to say about this. That's a good result to report on. Thank you. A lot yeah. of public interest in that. What are the, how did the markets end the week? Okay, so our top 50 index ended down 0.4%. That's 35 points up. Did I say up? Yes, yep. I did. To 8,302. And the New Zealand dollar is steady at 73 cents. US, 93.2 Australian, and 52.3 pence. And that's me for the week. Fine work this week. Thanks, Nona. As always, have a great weekend.